Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and first impressions on one of the new ColourPop collections it's called Going Coconuts collection. I really love ColourPop. I don't buy a ton of their stuff because they come out with too much. I did say that I wanted to incorporate more ColourPop into my channel, but I only want to pick up collections that really speak to me, and this one spoke to me. So if you want to see my thoughts on this and see me playing around with the products, then just keep watching. Alright, so I know I'm looking a little bit crazy, but let's talk about the collection. So this is the Going Coconuts collection. Now at the current moment on the ColourPop website, it is out of stock, so I'll put myself on the email list and I'll be sure to let you guys know when it is back in stock, but I did purchase the whole collection. Now, there are a few things from the collection that are still available though. Right now, the palette itself is out of stock, but there is a bundle that includes the palette and two of the lip tints. The lip stuff is still in, the Super Shock kit is still in, and so are the lip bundles. So there are still things available, but if you want to get the whole kit and caboodle currently that is sold out so that is what I purchased and this collection was screaming to me obviously I don't purchase a ton from ColourPop because they come out with too many collections so even though it's quite affordable makeup when they are releasing new collections daily that does add up so I really only purchase ColourPop collections that speak to me the last collection to do that was actually the peach collection so now the going coconuts like that was calling my name neutral lovers Whew and it's like really neutral cool tone not even really too warm so pretty so the set itself is $67 and in the collection there is a lippy bundle which is like moisturizing products two of their lip tint sets an eyeshadow palette of course a trio of the super shock shadows and two different bronzers so we are going to start off by talking about the lippy bundle now this is still available it's called the coco loco kit and it is $12 alone I mean if I had to kick anything out of this collection I would kick these out because they're just lip products and I don't know they're just something to add I have a lot of these I feel like so first we have the lippy scrub which is in Coco Loco and I like their lip scrubs I don't think they're super amazing by any means but they're good they're nice my favorite lip scrubs are actually from Lush like they're really gritty and taste like candy Jeffree Star has really good ones too Colourpop is a little bit more ooey gooey this one doesn't taste bad it doesn't have much of a scent to it pretty nice not bad okay and then, of course, you have the Lippy Balm, and I do like their lip balms. They aren't the most moisturizing lip balm in the world, but they're nice to leave out on my makeup desk, throw my purse. So I have a bunch of these kind of thrown around in different purses, so not much of a flavor or a scent kind of unimpressed by these to be honest so they are what they are either you like the formula or you don't the flavors if you will don't really scream coconut to me which is kind of a good thing because at the end of the day i don't really like coconut flavored things so i'm not offended by it all right so we're gonna go into the bronzers there are two bronzers in this collection obviously it amazes me how ColourPop manages to be so affordable but have such cute packaging. And the actual casing is the same as well. So this first one we have is Talk to the Palm. And then the other one is Coconut Beach. So one looks a little bit deeper, a little bit more reddish compared to the other. Hmm. I think typically just by looks I would prefer Coconut Beach. So let's swatch them. Ooh, so that coconut beach is a lot more soft and powdery than talk to the palm. So this is coconut beach. Yeah, it's like really powdery. And then talk to the palm. Yeah, that one pulls a little bit more warm. This one is a little bit more cool toned. So I'm gonna do one on one side and then one on the other. So we're gonna start off with the warmer one and we'll do it on this side so this is talk to the palm i'm using an esum x51 brush to apply it quite powdery picked up a lot of powder let me tap it off this is the first ColourPop bronzer that i own and just judging by how powdery it is i really want to use a dang it i really want to use a light hand 
That one definitely added some warmth to my face. Might be a smidge orangey. I think Talk to the Palm is gonna be a little bit more flattering on medium skin tones, but let me wipe my brush. Now we're gonna do Coconut Beach. Oh my gosh, this one is so much more ridiculously powdery. I don't like that. I don't like that I can't dip my brush in without making a mess. Way too powdery. I mean, this color though is more my speed. That's so strange that this one is so powdery. So as you can see, this one is much more apparent on my face. This one is much more subtle. I am gonna go in with a little bit more of Talk to the Palm just to even everything out. But the formula itself did blend onto the skin really smooth. I don't notice it looking patchy at all, but I've got to admit, I really don't like that Coconut Beach is so powdery. For eyeshadows, I feel like that's a little bit more controllable, but if you're going in with a fat brush, this is just messy. <sighs> but I really like the color of that Coconut Beach, so. I wouldn't say that the formulas of these are bad. I think medium skin tones, talk to the palm, you will love. But that Coconut Beach, I really am not a fan of how powdery it is. So really quickly, let's talk about the eyeshadow trio. This is still currently available. This is Call Me On My Shell Phone Kit. It is $15. It is a Super Shock Shadow formula, which I am obsessed with. I know it's already going to be good, so I'm not gonna use it in today's tutorial, most likely, but I did wanna show you the colors. And so the packaging is like a beige kind of color. So this first color that we have is Peekaboo. It's a really light, almost satiny kind of shade. It is a metallic formula, but it pulls very satin to me. This is going to be a really pretty inner corner color or just a simple eyelid color. There, that's a better swatch right here. Super pretty. Really like that. The next one is a little quirky, which is an ultra glitter formula. This is when you're speaking my language. This is the type of color that I like. And it's not super pigmented actually, but the finish of it's really, really strong and reflective. So the last one that we have is the deepest and it's called Deep Dive. I love the way this looks. This is another ultra glitter formula. Yup. I want to put that all over my eyelid and just swim in it. Whew. That's really, really stunning. Okay, so I think that this eyeshadow trio is definitely worthwhile if you like kind of glam neutral kind of colors. Super pretty, and if you know you love the Super Shock formula, I'm feeling this kit. Really, really like this kit. My dad just bought me chicken tenders from RG. Mmm, they kind of have good fries. I've never had Arby's before. Let's try a chicken tender. Arby's chicken tenders. Mmm. Okay, Arby's. Okay. Anyways, now it's time to show you the thing that I think you guys are probably the most excited for. This is the Going Coconuts eyeshadow palette. Now this is their regular kind of nine pan eyeshadow palette. Uh, there are no glitter formulas in here, which is what I think a lot of you seem to be excited about because the pressed glitter formulas are not deemed eye safe. I use them on my eyes anyways. I know a lot of you guys don't like that, so that's great. No pressed glitters. And these tones, oh my goodness. These are like neutral neutrals. I am so excited. For this look I'm about to do. I hope this palette is as pretty as it looks. <gasps> I just got honey mustard on my shirt. So I'm gonna start off by painting a little bit of my MAC Painterly Paint Pot on my eyelid. I just, I can't live without this now because it just brightens up the whole eyelid. So the first color I'm going into is Shredded. And I know my brush looks dirty. I wiped it, I swear. But I'm just gonna use that just underneath the brow bone area just to kind of set everything. Yeah. Okay. And now... We're gonna start going in with actual colors. So we're gonna start off with Culotta right here and I'm just using that same brush. I've had people yell at me before for using the same brush for the whole look. They're like, the colors get muddy, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm just saying this is realistic. 
not everybody has a billion brushes. And to be quite honest, I just don't have the energy to dip into 20 million brushes for a look. Color's nice. I mean, it's kind of a generic transition color. I want to pack a little bit of that on the inner corner area because we are gonna do a halo eye today. That sounds nice. I was gonna do a cut crease, but it is six o'clock on a Tuesday evening and I plan on going to bed at nine, so we ain't got time for that. Now we're gonna take, this mirror's so annoying. We're gonna take Lovely Bunch right here and we're slowly gonna work on deepening that. The shade has a little bit more beigey tone to it. That beige is very warm, but not a lot of fallout or kickback from these shadows, BT dubs. Now we're going on with Shell Yeah. Kind of warmed everything up just a touch, just a hint. Not like reddish warm, but it added diff a different dimension to the eye. This is the Isam S33, by the way, one of my favorite blending brushes. All right, and then we're going to go into Nutty right here, the darkest color. So this doesn't go super deep, but it is a nice, decent brown. I mean, not bad for what it's worth. I'm going to go in with the original brush and kind of blend everything out, but I don't know if you can tell, but it's going to be a very blended look. Had no issues thus far with the palette. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to layer a few of the browns on my lower lash line really quickly. I look crazy now. Next step, I'm going to eat a chicken tender. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue kind of with the gradient with the shimmer. So we're going to take the cocoa and I'm going to press it on the outsides. Not quite hitting the center quite yet, just to keep a shimmery eyelid. Now we're going in with Coco Crush, and we are going to pop this in the center. Wow. This one felt really nice too, by the way. She looked really nice too. Hmm. Dang, ColourPop. If I was a makeup brand, I'd be so mad about ColourPop because their stuff is so good and so cheap. Like, they're exposing the rest of the beauty community. I don't know how they do it. Really nice. Okay, and then with a small pointy brush, I'm gonna take Palm Reader, which is that lightest shade right here. So this one feels a little bit chunky. It is a little bit chunky. It needs a finger to kind of work it in. Otherwise, the particles will just everywhere but I'm feeling this palette ColourPop. They did a really good job with this one. I mean ColourPop typically has a very nice eyeshadow formula especially for its value. I love these tones. Oh my goodness. All right so I'm going to finish liner lashes, highlighter, blush, all of that and we'll go back to the lip items. I try to stick to only ColourPop products. So I use the ColourPop blush from the recent Peach Collection in Perk Up. I used a Lunch Money Super Shock Highlighter, which gives this really like glow from within kind of look. And then the mascara, which I don't like this mascara, but I had to stick with the theme. <laughs> so they came out with, in this collection, two lip crayon bundles. These are their tint colors, which I like this formula. I don't love it. I would have much preferred like some glosses and their cream lipsticks or their uh, satin lip, ultra satin lip. Yeah, that's what they call it or their ultra satin lip. I feel like all of the collections recently have come out with these, but whatever. This first one is Shall We Dance? And it comes with two colors. So right here we have Nude Beach, which doesn't look very nude to me. And then we have Island Time, which this right here, can you even see that? That looks like it should be Nude Beach, but let's try. So the island time, I mean, this isn't really going to be anything on the lips. Once you actually wear it, really just like a unflattering tint. I don't really care for this color, to be honest. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, this is Nude Beach. I like their tint formula, but I don't think it's that great. It just is something I keep in my purse just to throw on some color. because They don't wear very well and they kind of go outside your lip lines. I like this color though. It goes really well with my shirt, but it doesn't really match the eyes and then the next one is coconut kiss this first color that we have is Waikiki uh, right here kind of like a light peach this one is a little bit more rosy than the last one that we tried that is a great everyday color wow I like that and then this next next one is Shaka I had a friend in college named Shaka Hi, Shaka. Ooh, I like that a lot. 
This one's definitely going to benefit from a lip liner. Pretty sheer nude lip. And this just goes with my eyes. I'm going to mix it with my Kiki together. All right, so I mean, that was the last thing in the collection. This is the final look. I really, really like it. But let me quickly go over everything in this collection, my collective thoughts, what's worth it, what's not. So we started off with the lip bundle. My thoughts on this stay true and that I don't think this is all that great. It kind of just came with the kit and the collection that I purchased. They're just lip products. The coconut flavor of it isn't offensive at all. I don't really like coconut scented things and this is not strong at all. So this is meh. It's okay. But if you're really hoping for something super coconutty, that one is not. Then we moved on to the bronzers. Now these two seem to have different formulas. I think that if you have a medium skin tone, talk to the palm, you will love this. This was a really smooth formula. It really warmed up the face. Really liked that. I liked the color of Coconut Beach better, but I did not like the formula of this. I don't know if it's just mine, so if you have this, let me know, but this was so powdery, and the other one was not, which is very odd. If this had the same press as the other one, I would really, really like this bronzer, but it's just not perfect. Of course, they aren't extremely expensive, so I can't complain on that front, but the Call Me On My Shell Phone Super Shock Shadow Trio, I think might be my favorite thing in this collection. I love the Super Shock formula. I have a ton so I didn't need any more but I just love the colors of these neutral glittery shimmery metallic glam shades. This is a really lovely trio but I also really do love the Going Coconuts eyeshadow palette. Super easy to blend. I think you guys are going to get a lot of use out of this and it's just so affordable but such good quality. I don't know how Colourpop does it. I love the look I was able to come up with. I love these types of tones. I do not regret buying this for a second. The Just a Tint Lip Crayon Bundles, I'm personally not in love with them just because I don't really care too much for the formula. They're nice, but they're not something that I reach for. If you do like the formula, I think the colors in here are decent. I'm not really blown away by these bundles, so I'm not going to strongly recommend them, but I don't think they're bad. I just don't care for them. But overall, I do like the collection a lot. I do think there are some extreme hits and meh, a lot of meh in this collection, uh, but I totally recommend the eyeshadow pieces. That trio and the palette, worth every penny to me if you are into ColourPop. Uh, if I was in college still and I didn't have a lot of money, not that I do have a lot of money, but you know what I mean, how you, college students are so broke. If I was still in college, ColourPop is the perfect brand. You get good quality stuff for an affordable price. And this stuff is so cute. I, <laughs> they, ColourPop amazes me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you purchased this collection down below. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so. My dog just opened the door and walked in. Hi, honey. Pippa. This is Pippa. She's in a good mood. She wants to hang out. She's an old girl. So anyways, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Say bye. Have a good day. Say bye. See you in the next one. She's like, put me down. She has to be put up though. Mm, so cute. Okay. I'm just putting you down. Relax. Bye.